some news about the TA funding? You're not telling me we've still not raised enough money? I'm afraid so. But that's why the council have decided to, um... Stump up the rest of the camp! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Jessie! <laughs> oh. I know, I'm a bad, bad person. Oh. But seriously, well done for that. All that hard graph paid off. Look, I'm off to work, but I'm going to be around later cos I'm going to be looking at some flats in Robbersfield, oh. so... Maybe see you for a cheeky drink to yeah, celebrate. Absolutely, definitely. Come in. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, we got the funding for Leo. Oh, nice one. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got much bigger stuff to worry about. That's what. That could be worse. But I'm going to take him some lunch later. See if the takeaway will cheer him up. Any news on that guy they arrested? Yeah, he's been charged. Oh, that's something. Yeah, except he's not saying anything. I'm not sure Ross is going to get the answers he's after. I'm going to see Ross later if you want to come along. Or if not, this will be the last time you see us for a week. No, no. No, I'll be there. There's um, some stuff that I want to talk to him about anyway. All right, well, we'll be sure to have a good time anyway, thanks. What? Any idea what we've been talking about for the past five minutes? As in, we're going on holiday? Yes. I told you about it yesterday. Yeah, I know. I know, I've just not woken up properly, that's all. Bad night? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> right, well, I need to get going anyway, so... Yeah, I'll catch you up. I'll see you at the hospital? Mm-hmm. So, uh, I take it this is about Simon, is it? What? It's like talking to a zombie. Look, I told you, I put the fear of God into him. You're in the clear, OK? Yeah, OK, I got that the first time. I've got absolutely no reason to be worrying about Simon. Food up. And don't worry, it's safe. I haven't slipped a Mickey into the baked beans. Daz! Hey, I was a target. Should be allowed to make jokes. Too soon, OK? Well, it's no more than you deserve. I'm not going to keep saying I didn't mean for any of this to happen. And I'm not going to keep saying... I think saying... you two have repeated yourself enough on this subject. Why don't we just try and enjoy our breakfasts, eh? Hello. Speaking. What can I do for you? I've got to say something. Are we seriously having this conversation again? Do you not get how bad I feel about this? Yes, I get how bad you feel about this, and like I said, you should feel bad. You did a really stupid thing. Feeling bad's what comes after it. So I need to come clean then, don't I? What, so you want to go from one stupid thing to the other? It'll blow over. She'll get a slap on the wrist. You don't know that. Well, I know it's not worth you going down with her when it was her idea. I appreciate that, but I am not having this hanging over her or me. We'll come as soon as we can. Mum, can you um, phone the school, please, and tell them that Gabby won't be in this morning? What's happening? That was the police. They're telling me I've got to take you down to be charged. Well, it's no good looking at me like that. What else do you expect? Let's just hope they go easy on you. Mm. We've got to stop meeting like this. Oh. Just wanted to see how you were doing. You can tell everyone I'm terrific, can't you? Sorry. Don't worry about it. Oh. Pete said he's going to bring you a takeaway later. Sneak it past the nurses. Oh, great. Something to look forward to. You OK? I'm fine. So you ditched the light board. Huh. Didn't want it anymore. Anyway, I need to go and see Lisa and then get back. Packing to do. So, you take care and I'll see you when I'm back, OK? Bye. You going as well? well? I can stick around for a bit if you like. I'll warn you, though, not got much in the way of small talk. I had a feeling chatting myself. Good thing. After yesterday. And there it is. The elephant in the room. Yeah. 
Okay, it's fine, Ross. Well, it was, um, it was the drugs talking. I know. It's okay. I didn't mean it. I know. Just need to forget about it. Concentrate on getting yourself better. Well, you should have called. I'd have gone down with them. Good would you have done? Well, giving Gabby some support. She's got a mum with her. Yeah, well, I didn't know what mood Bernice is in. I mean, I know how angry she is. You can hardly blame her. Yeah, and she has every right to come down hard on her, but at the end of the day, she's not the first kid who's done something without thinking through the consequences. Love, I know she's been through a lot, but you can't always be making excuses for her. Well? Well, go on, then. You don't need me to speak for you. I've been charged with stealing and causing Lisa's collapse. Or theft and administering a noxious substance, to be exact. And that means... Well, that means she could go to prison. Lisa was really down. Hadn't cheered up by the time I got there. It was like all the fight had gone out of her. Well, it's not like she's the sunniest of personalities in the first place, is it? Oh, come on. It's just speaking as a find. I hated seeing her like that. Let me realise, she's the one who looks after the rest of us most of the time. The nearest thing I've got to a mum these days. Uh, it's still early days. Give her a chance to get back, yeah? So it's done? Yeah, that's it. Mexico. Cancelled. Well, it's a shame, but long haul flight with no tequila at the end. Utterly pointless. Mm. Are you ready? Yep, just want to get it over and done with so everyone knows. Go on, you, you go. Hi, uh, everyone. Um, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. Uh, me and the padster have got a little announcement to make. Oh. Uh, we wanted to do it all in one go. Uh, rather than in dribs and drabs, as it were, B because some of you know some things and, uh, well, some of you don't, so... Oh, Paddy, for goodness sake, you're killing us here. We're pregnant. Well, you want to surprise people, you go for it. <sighs> Listen, sweetheart, look, I know, I, I know you should have been the first person to know, but, it, well, it's been complicated and I, I'm sorry. Mum. If you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, thank you. <gasps> so, Paddy, things obviously took a very different turn then, didn't they? Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. It's cool, family. It's in the contract. Yeah. Paddy? Finally made it then, eh? Made what? Married Mandy, married Emily, now this. Your ends will be a dingle, won't you, eh? <laughs> but we can take the responsibility. Oh, no! I'll try. I'm... I'm so glad you decided to do this. I would have supported you, whatever. I know, I know. It's just that I've decided I'm going to try and be better at this whole mum thing this time. <laughs> well, that's all you can do, love. <laughs> oh! Nice one, mate. Thank you. Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Oh, no, don't worry about it. So I'm just a bit... Listen, I've got to go and check on the kitchen, but congrats, eh? Machines in a blink, so instant it is. You've got a visitor. All right. Hey, Moses has conked out. Drinking time for Mummy. Hurry up. Thank you. And for you, though. I'm going to get quite tough with you through this time. Tough, really? Tough esque. Mm, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to do this? Yeah, come on. It's best to just get it over with, like, ripping off a plaster. Can we have some menus, please? You think I'd serve her? I'm sure our money's as good as anyone else's. Well, the thing is, Lisa nearly died, so no amount of money will kind of put that right. Well, I'm getting punished, if that makes you feel any happier. Oh, yeah, I'm sure community service will really sting. Ivy's jacket picking up later. How will you cope? As it happens, she's facing prison. Does that make everyone else feel better? Might perk Lisa up. You might as well go. You can see you're not welcome. No, really? This is a pub, as in public, so we've every right to be here. Look, can we just go, please? We shouldn't have come here in the first place. 
OK, fine. I suppose it's only to be expected. A new lot. Up to your neck in all sorts. But it doesn't stop you passing judgment on everyone else, does it? Did you hear that? She's gone to prison. All the more reason for you to keep your head down then, isn't it? Really, it's amazing what they can do these days. Could never quite get my head around the idea of a skin graft. I imagine you must feel like you've really been put through the ringer. Then better. I'll bet. Never really been a big fan of hospitals, me. Must be something I've inherited from the old man. I told you about he was a paraplegic. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway. He used to tell my auntie that he wouldn't go back if he paid him. You're quiet. Am I? Again, hospitals. <laughs> my dad was right. Visiting people, you always run out of things to talk about. Have you given him the big news then? It's got to find out sometime. We had an agreement. Yeah, well, there's no time like the present. Plus, I think it's better if he finds out about us from you. Us? Go on. Me and Joe are back together. Obviously, we weren't sure whether we were going to say anything, but then we thought, with you two once having had a thing, it wouldn't have been nice to let you find out by accident. So, here we are. Knew you was coming, then. That why you stuck around? I guess. Kind of you, mate, but me and Debbie... ancient history, not to mention a total train wreck, right? Seriously, mate, you're welcome to her. Oh, I, I meant to ask. What did Debbie say to you once I left here this morning? Yes. Not the usual. Nothing. In warm. She was really quiet at the hospital, too. I think she's OK. Yes, yeah, just having a bad day, I reckon. Mm. Right, you lot. I'll see you all in a week. Mm, have a good one. Congrats. Thank you. Marla. Mm -hmm. You're right. Shouldn't I be? I hope I'm not being weird. But I just thought you might be a bit more enthusiastic. You know, because we're going for it. We're having a baby. Oh, oh, Paddy, not weird. No, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What it is, is seeing Lisa in hospital, it's just... Not me back a bit, that's all, but I am thrilled to bits for you, I promise. But somebody's just walked in and might not be if you don't tell her personally. Can I have a word? Slipped your mind? We were supposed to meet today. No, not here. I didn't agree to this. Putting Ross in the middle after everything that he's been through! I shouldn't have to remind you whose fault that is. <sighs> you say we say thing that this is gonna work, do you? Have you got any idea how insane this is? It's all I've got. But the deal stays the same. You can either honour our arrangement, or the next time I see Ross, I'll let him know that it was you that put him in that hospital bed. And then you can suffer the consequences. Of course, I'm not entirely sure what they'll be, but... I imagine it'll include prison and being separated from your kids. So this is yours. It's 
So you know how accidents happen? Yeah. Oh, is this about the Kesman thing? Don't worry. I have told Vanessa this doesn't count as an accident because at best, it's incompetence. At worst... No. No, it's not about that. Sorry. <laughs> what it is, it's, it, it's an accident, but like a good one. A happy accident. A happy accident. <sighs> I hope you're going to be pleased for us, I really do, because we are. We? Me and Chaz. Sorry, Paddy, I don't mean to be dense, but this is all a little bit cryptic. Why don't you just say whatever it is you want to say? Because all this talk of accidents, happy or otherwise, and you and... Ch oh. Yeah. You two are... Yeah. That's just wonderful. Congratulations. I mean, so we, we are talking about a baby. Yeah. We're really pleased. When are you due? October. Right. Oh, so worried about telling Oh, me. don't be silly. I am. I'm over the moon for you. Do you want a, a drink of fizz or Yeah, like a little one would be great. Hey, hey. So? So have you told him yet about the funding? Oh, I just got here. Do you mind if I... Be my guest. Hey, thought you'd like to know. We got the money for the ASTA. Oh, great. <laughs> OK, try not to go overboard with your enthusiasm. Sorry, sorry. Really great. That's hardly any improvement. You look like someone's died. Oh, you're not still sulking cos I turned you down, are we? Yeah, cos that's all I've got to worry about right now. Get over yourself. <sighs> Don't take it to heart. He's just worried about Lisa. Eh? Get yourself a drink, I'll tell you all about it. So, have either of you thought about setting up an appointment with a solicitor? I mean, a proper one, where you can discuss things in detail. Well, give us a chance, we're just taking it all in. Mm, I suppose one of us should get onto that. Yeah, but is it going to be worth it? She's going to be pleading guilty, surely. Doesn't that mean it more likely that they'll lock her up? Well, it's better than her pleading not guilty and then the judge finding her otherwise. So you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. And that's supposed to be justice? Well, she's already admitted to it, Bernice. Right, I obviously need to call him, get some proper advice. What do you think you're doing? I said no phones. That's what being grounded means. Sorry. Give it to me. It was only one text. To who? It's private. You gave up your right to privacy when you were caught nicking drugs. It's to live. What do you mean you'll keep quiet? Nothing. The message is, don't worry, I'll keep quiet about you. What? Just ignore it. it. It's not important. Well, it plainly is. You deliberately disobeyed us. Keep quiet about what? What else are you hiding? Nothing. We have just got back from the police station. Do you not realise how serious this is? Oh, easy. Nobody's going to get anywhere by shouting, are they? Come on, love. You're a bright girl. You know, you're not doing yourself any favours, are you? Is Liv involved in this somehow? Gabby? She did it with me. What? She put the stuff in the drink. OK, happy? Of course I'm not happy. You've lied to us. But, hang on, that means that Gabby's not responsible. Well, not entirely. Yes, I am, because it was my idea. And there was no way that I'm telling the police on Liv, so you may as well forget it. So has anyone else been in today? Uh, Moira. Debbie. Joel. Him and Debbie are a thing again. Wanted my blessing. Don't know why. I told her not to be messing with your head. Hasn't. Stupid cow. Always was more trouble than she's worth. Yeah, but... Seriously, look. I was well shot of her years ago. Look, um... Look, mate, you, um... 
You get off, yeah? There's no point in sticking around watching me trying to eat. Are you sure you don't want to talk about this? <laughs> so you should be worried about me. Getting back with him. Go on. Do one. Cows won't feed themselves. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Continuing your Friday here on ITV is Fizz in for another nasty surprise and Coronation Street continues later on at half eight. A retired serviceman gets a visit from the Titchmarsh's Love Your Garden continues at eight and at nine tonight is this one bullet battered pickle they can't get out of. New Lethal Weapon continues. <laughs>